What do I like best? She doesn't have to do anything. Actually, that's true. For her, this place, I think, gave her more life. So in that sense, this place is very good for us. This is a place with a grand heritage. For generations, seniors have discovered this care-filled community in West Orange, New Jersey, helps them age with grace, surrounded by some of the nicest people anywhere. Could I say it's easy living? That's what Green Hill is to me. Easy living for a century and a half. And since its beginning, Green Hill has built a lustrous legacy of true kindness and genuine care. Green Hill started in 1866 with 13 women who all had lost their husbands and wanted to live together and grow old together. At that time, they called it the Society for the Relief of Respectable Aged Women, and they were members. So we started with 13 members. Eventually, we evolved, still in Newark, and merged with Home for Incurables and Convalescents. Then we started uh, our first nursing area. We moved to West Orange in 1965, and I believe it was during our 100th anniversary. But in 65, that's when we came here. This used to be Green's Hotel, which was a very famous and affluent hotel. And we purchased it. We added a nursing building. And then in the 80s, an assisted living building. And in uh, 2011, we added four greenhouse homes. Today, Green Hill is known for its exceptional skilled care and for the exceptional ways it delivers that care. As a matter of fact, you won't find anything quite like the innovative greenhouse homes anywhere else within hundreds of miles. I always thought that there was a better way to handle nursing and nursing care and, and seniors. So when I saw the greenhouse project, I knew that that was it. In the greenhouse homes, the relationships are incredible because it's just 10 elders in one house. So they become very close to the caregivers. The greenhouse concept is basically a home. Dr. Thomas, instead of taking an institution and bringing home into it, he made a home, he designed a home and then brought medical into it. So medical is the servant to the resident. It is not the dictator. Elsewhere at Green Hill, you'll find the same commitment to residents' comfort and to their freedom to socialize, grow, and have more than a little bit of fun together. That's the, the biggest thing. They like to join together in meals and talk and socialize. And I think the social aspect is really important. When I came here, I didn't know anyone. They allow you to sit with whoever you want in the cafeteria. So I've started eating with two ladies and a gentleman. And we look forward to just eating together. You'll notice that wherever you find residents having good times together, you'll also find dedicated staff members nearby, caregivers, helpers, friends. Our staff genuinely love our residents. My staff is great. They're very friendly. They are, they are what makes Green Hill Green Hill. You know, you don't walk down the hall without smiling and saying hi to everybody, and, and they're saying it back to you. They're all good. They're all good. The staff I staff is all good. I wouldn't say there's any favorites because they're all good. They're all good. They can't have favorites even the waitresses are. Oh, they're very so good. good. You couldn't ask for better. You couldn't ask for better. Those who work at Green Hill have a special passion for our residents, and they'll do whatever a resident needs whenever it's needed. We put each individual resident in the eye of our care. Oh, I always tell my new hires, you'll know that we do person-centered care by how many different kinds of milk I have in my cooler. There's about 20. So if you come in and you tell me, I like to have lactate, 1% lactate in a little carton, I will buy it for you, even if nobody else drinks it. You're getting three meals a day. You're getting your laundry. You're getting your cleaning. You're getting your health care. What more could you ask for? Indeed. And it's been this way for 150 years. 150 years of serving of making a difference in individuals' lives, of truly caring. Green Hill, it's a grand place. I'm 92 now and I'm still lucid and active. So this is the place. Wide open spaces, friendly people. So, hey, I think I'm in the right place. The right place for so many, for so long. And now it's time to celebrate it's time to remember the marvelous legacy of Green Hill, to give thanks for the many who've served and for the many residents who made us there 
grand place. It's pretty big, 150 years to be around, so we're really proud.